The easiest way to increase your profitability and to drive more sales in your salon is actually to sell more to your existing clients. And today, this video, we're going to talk about how you can enhance your services and do exciting add-ons to them. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg. And my name is Mia Lansson. And this is where we share ideas and strategies to help you grow your salon business. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. All right, so before we dive into the different ideas that you can add as add-ons and enhancements to your hair salon services, uh, just a couple of principles of what makes a good add-on. Um, so as we were discussing this, I think like what we came down to is it should really be something that enhances and improves either the experience of the service that they book or the result uh, of the service that yeah. they book, right? So we want the, we want the add-on or the enhancement to really like build on on the service. You know, if they're yeah. booking for a collar, if they're booking for a haircut, like they should improve that, and it shouldn't be something that is like completely completely different because yeah. then it's yeah. you know not really relevant. It doesn't add as much value to them. Um, and then on top of that, what, what's important with these add-ons is, of course, that they are profitable, yeah. uh, that it doesn't like add a ton of extra product cost for you or exactly. a lot of service time, or if yeah. it adds service time to make sure that you also then increase the duration uh, of the appointment that they book yeah. Yeah. in for and that you charge properly for that. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Um, I think uh, like a brilliant add-on or a service enhancement that you could add is a scalp massage. And maybe you can even offer like a five, 10, 15 minute scalp massage for many customers or clients of yours, you know, and this is what we hear. This is one of the like yeah. best part of their experience yeah. in, in your salon is, is getting that massage at yeah. the basin. Uh, but often, you know, we do it rather quickly and it's like a smaller thing as part of the service, but we could really charge more uh, by having that as a dedicated enhancement that they could add. Yeah, we often actually often have customers that said, oh, I wish I should do this more often. I could come just for this or I think this is a, a lot of people actually also, especially here you can charge more f in for your men. <laughs> this is a really good add-on, I think, also for men, mm. because a lot of men really likes uh, this part. And another one that I thought about, it's not really like an add-on that you, I think you can charge more for, but it's a way to customize the experience, and that would be to offer like a silent appointment. Yeah. I mean, I think this is more commonly used yeah. actually in like spa businesses. So when you're booking for like a massage treatment and so on that you like, okay, I want a silent appointment. But honestly, also as you book, you know, yeah. in a hair salon for a hair service, yeah. this could certainly be valuable uh, as well. So, uh, but I'm not sure, could you charge for a silent appointment? I think. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I think it could actually, yeah. I think a lot of guys would like to, because a lot I'll of- i just pay you to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, Maybe they talk a lot of at their work or at their where they are. They talk a lot of all day. They just want to come and sit and be relaxed and do not talk to anyone. Mm. I think it's uh, more common than we think. I yeah. think something that people, I mean, they don't want to be rude to the hairdresser. That's why they don't say like, could you just be silent? <laughs> I mean, yeah. But so I don't know, easier. maybe you can charge for it, maybe not. Uh, anyway, it's a way that you can yeah. allow your customer to personalize their experience yeah. and to get it. And I think also a good uh, add-on is to ha to offer more uh, fun stylings to your customer, to brand them more like, uh, I want the beach wave styling or I want the, the boom boom glam styling. Uh, so that the customer can choose that in the add-on, what type of styling they want. Because here as well, I think sometimes customers, they don't, they're afraid to say to their hair just how they want their hair styled. And maybe they leave, end up leaving the hair salon looking like the hairdresser want, not like the customer wants to. So here you can really play with names, like I said, beach waves, or I want, uh, I don't know, a Friday off the work look or but you can choose different. And I, and I really like how you like brand that and use this yeah. name uh, rather than like, okay, blow dry or use yeah. the tools or like very technical that we yeah. sometimes see, but you know, people are buying into result, right? And, yeah, yeah, I think and, it's like, easy. Using brand it's, yeah, I think it's, it sounds a lot more sexier and fun as well. 
and I think that we should use more in our menu overall, we should use more words that are uh, fun for the clients and are more describing the result rather than describing what tools or technique you're using, uh, like balayage or baby lights or uh, toner, more describing like a beach summer look, you get the beach summer look or get the hazelnut brown, I mean, more describing the result yeah. rather than the technique. It's a good like that. Good way to uh, sex your menu up. Can you say that? You can absolutely <laughs> say that. What I would like to see more often as well is like if you could if you could have an add-on um, to a service, which is like okay, you get a breakfast during your visit. Give me food. Yeah, give me food. Like <laughs> have have you like uh, you know, may, and maybe you can have a partnership like with yeah. like the local business in the area where you can actually offer like a lunch package because like. At least I, I can relate yeah. to that. I think many yeah. of your clients yeah. can as well. Like there's They're coming in for like a lunch haircut or a yeah, lunch. Yeah, because like time is only like you have such, such yeah. like lunch break or whatever and you need to fit in like the you know, your yeah. salon visit and yeah. everything during that. So like these things allows you to charge a premium, makes it make a bit of extra, but also like it's it's a good experience for, yeah. for your clients as well. And I think also another add-on that is quite good that are coming more is teaching add-on that people want to book maybe to have a, um, like a color consultation or a shape consultation where, they, where, where you teach the clients and show them what colors that fit for them, what type of haircuts that would look good with their uh, face shapes, why they should ha have bangs, why they should not have bangs. Uh, what makes their eyes pop, what, and so on. I think a lot of clients really would want and would pay for that expertise. And that is also like a good one to add on to uh, if they're booking like a long um, uh, coloring session with you and they could add uh, this uh, consultation and you could begin with, uh, you know that you have 15, 20 minutes extra to go through with why you choose the type of colors, why you lay like uh, low lights here and high lights here to extend and drag in and make their face the most beautiful. Because you do all these things, but you don't teach it to the customer. And I think a lot of customers would be very interested in hearing those. Yeah, totally. And I think it can even go beyond the hair as well, right? Yeah. Be beyond the hair color. Yeah. Like this knowing. you can use in, in clothes or makeup or, yeah. yeah. Certainly something that you know you can charge for that yeah. consultation yeah. And, and to add that in. Uh, cool. And so another one that you could implement uh, as a service enhancement in your hair salon would also be like a scalp analysis. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people struggle with different scalp conditions as you as you're aware. Yeah. Uh, and like doing more of a deeper uh, scalp analysis where you're kind of following up with the <gasps> client. Uh, could also be one that opens up an opportunity to charge for the analysis itself, uh, but also opens up like a whole array of services actually that you could offer, like you know, yeah. dermabrasion services, and there, there's a lot of services there as well. And I um, think also a lot of customers that maybe have problems with their scalp are not always comfortable of bringing the subject up. Mm. But if you have done it in the booking the customer doesn't have to, you bring it up with the customer and you know that the customer wants you to also bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't uh, become like a, like a thing that they're embarrassed of. And also, I think here is a way, a really cash, <laughs> cash flow uh, opportunity because if you have these problems every day, you will easily pay a lot to get rid of them or get help with it. Yeah. And also something that I have thought about a lot and uh, I thought about to also to improve in my salon that I have is also just this type of experience, enhanced, enhanced experience for the customer. Uh, like you, they can book a luxury package where they get a extra shiny hair, extra luxurious golden or shiny hair mask for the hair, maybe when they uh, uh, lie in the backwash they can get a, uh, uh, eye patches just to relax and get a glass of champagne when they arrive uh, or have like <clears throat> different like wellness packages where they get the certain herbal tea uh, 
also maybe their eye patches get a like a relaxing uh scalp massage in the in the backwash uh, or using like some anti-aging treatments i mean there are a lot of like uh upgrade that makes the experience feel much more luxurious and much more personalized for them if they are a person that want to into val wellness and anti-aging or they are more like a luxury they can choose i think it's uh yeah to personalize the experience it's really something that's i think everybody wants now yeah yeah totally and i love again like focusing on that benefit versus the technical element yeah. of what is yeah. being delivered but like really what you know like yeah. the aging and that i think that's of awesome. course i want to uh, to upgrade my coloring session to a luxury coloring session where I get champagne and get like yeah, who wouldn't? soothing eye patches and I yeah. mean. Yeah, cool. So I, you know, th these are a bunch of ideas that I, yeah. that I, ho I hope it's helping you. Um, obviously, we also need to make sure that people actually buy them. Right? Yeah, so and know about them. And know about them. How, like, how do we do that? Yeah, maybe I think teaching the team we have been mm. working a lot of that in our salon, like teaching the team to present this type of stuff to the hairdressers, having a menu by the mirror where they sit so they can easily browse through. But it is difficult to get them. I mean, you know, as a hairdresser, you have a lot of things to do, a lot of things on your mind. You should take before and after pictures, you should uh, focusing on the color, the treatment, whatever they type. So I think for me, it's, it has been difficult to get it consistency of uh, getting every every customer to know all these type of add-ons that we actually have. Mm. Uh, this has been a struggle for us, yeah. at least. Yeah, and I think this is where like the software yeah. you use when clients book is huge. Like, yeah. if your software can support you here, because if you know, if you allow for customizations of the services to happen, like when people are booking online, so they select the service and with that, they can, you know, choose if they wanted to, whatever, upgrade to, what did we say? The yeah, well wellness then. package or whatever. Yeah. Like, and they can do that as they go through the booking. Um, then you don't need to rely on that your staff will remember to promote this in, in the business. Um, mm. Also, you will ensure that when they book, there's enough service duration for the appointment to actually do it, which might not be possible if you're just yeah. doing this. Just or book a certain room if that room needs to be booked. Yeah, or, exactly. Yeah. And, and all of that is possible also to do with the Mangomint platform that we talk about on this channel quite a bit. Mm. Um, so, and I, I can link to that. Uh, they have a feature called service customizations. Um, available in there, which basically allows you to do all of that, extend yeah. the duration. You can have a ton of different add-ons uh, to your services. The they can see know. the finished price they of the add-on. Yeah. When if I add, I mean, scalp massage, and I want this and this and this. What is the final number? It's easy for them to see. Yeah, and and you know, and this is huge. Like what we said in the beginning, like this is really a way for you to increase revenue yeah. in your business. Yeah by just enabling this, right? Being able to allow your clients to not just book their haircut, but to book their haircut and in the next phase, start to extend and to make more and more out of yeah, that yeah. and increase the value of each visit with their, with you know, with and, you. And it won't feel for the customer, I think, as much that you're selling them things because when they're doing their booking, they're choosing for themselves. So, because sometimes I think, or not sometimes, I think customers, you have a deep relationship often with your customers, mm. and then it, it creates maybe a barrier for these types of things where you're charging more or offering new things, mm. maybe a barrier for the, um, the hairdresser to offer, that, offer it, but also I think for the clients to say yes or no, or if you have a menu to, for the client to say, oh, I want that as well. They don't want to disturb you in their work and so on. So I think here the customer can just add on what they want and it won't feel like you're selling them things. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So that's huge. Uh, check if your current software offers this ability to do that. Uh, otherwise, you can look at the video that I'm linking to somewhere on the screen yeah. here where I show yeah. you actually how this works in Mangamin. Uh, and I think that's what we had to share with you today. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you have other add-ons that you're using in your business, uh, 
post them in the comments below and we can help each other out there for like more ideas. Yeah. Because uh, again, this is a great way to, yeah. to grow your business. So like love to see more ideas there in, in the comments box. Uh, otherwise, we look forward to seeing you inside of an upcoming video.